Hello, welcome back to GCH page. Today's video is on a topic that touches all of us at some point in our lives, rebuilding self-esteem. In the next few minutes, we'll embark on a journey of self-discovery, empowerment, and growth. Whether you're struggling with self-esteem issues or simply seeking to boost your self-confidence, this video is for you. Feel free to drop questions or topics related to mental health or relationship that you think should be addressed in this page in the comment section below. That being said, ensure to sit back till the end as we embark on this empowering journey of growth. But before we proceed, if you are new to this channel, here we discuss topics related to mental health and relationships, if romantic heterosexual, if you find these topics interesting then consider hitting the like and subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on new uploads. Ensure to watch until the end so you get the most out of the video. Let's dive right in. To rebuild self-esteem, we first need to understand what it is. Self-esteem is the way we perceive ourselves, our self-worth, confidence, and belief in our abilities. It's a critical component of mental and emotional well-being. Different factors can influence this either positively or negatively. Low self-esteem can be referred as negative and stem from various sources, such as past failures, negative self-talk, societal pressures or even poor relationships. For the sake of brevity, we will dwell on this aspect and on rebuilding it whenever we noticed we are at this spectrum of self-esteem. It's essential to recognize that everyone faces moments of self-doubt, but the key is how we bounce back from them. One of the topics we discussed last week was about breakup and this as well may affect someone's perception of self, the link for the video will be shown at the end of this video so you can refer to it. What are some of the signs of low self-esteem? Recognizing the signs of low self-esteem is the first step towards rebuilding it. These signs might include constant self-criticism, avoiding challenges due to fear of failure, or seeking validation from others. Take a moment to reflect on your own thoughts and behaviors, do any of these signs resonate with you? Remember, acknowledging these patterns is a powerful step towards positive change. Now let's consider some of the powerful practices that can help you at any point in rebuilding your self-esteem. First, self-compassion. To rebuild self-esteem, self-compassion is your greatest ally. Treat yourself with the same kindness you would offer to a close friend facing challenges. Acknowledge your mistakes, but don't define yourself by them. During this time as every other practice positive self-talk by replacing self-criticism with self-encouragement. Treat setbacks as learning opportunities that contribute to your growth. Number 2. Setting realistic goals. Setting achievable goals is crucial for rebuilding self-esteem. No matter how small your achievable broken down task may appear it is better than bigger unachievable task. Celebrate each milestone, as they reflect your progress which in turn will improve your self-esteem. Remember, progress is personal, and every step forward matters. By accomplishing these small victories, you're building a solid foundation for greater self-belief. Number 3. Embracing your strengths. Each of us possesses unique strengths and talents. Embrace them. Don't waste your time being jealous over someone excelling in areas you struggle with, Rather celebrate them and see that as an encouragement to discovering and building on your own strength. Shifting your perspective to your strengths boosts confidence and reminds you of your value. You have the power to create positive change in your life. Number 4. Cultivating a supportive circle. Surrounding yourself with a supportive circle is vital for rebuilding self-esteem. Seek out people who uplift you, encourage your growth, and offer constructive feedback. The number doesn't matter, for instance one supportive circle is better than 100 unsupportive circle of friends or family. Remember, you don't have to go through this journey alone. Your support system can help you see your worth and potential even when you might doubt yourself. My recommendation is having Christ as part of your circle which will be a great addition for you. Number 5. Practicing self-care. Taking care of your physical and mental well-being is a cornerstone of rebuilding self-esteem. Engage in activities that bring you joy, practice mindfulness, check out my video on mindfulness link will shown by the end of this video, and prioritize self-care. Prioritizing self-care demonstrates your commitment to your own happiness and self-worth. When you feel good about yourself, your self-esteem naturally flourishes. In conclusion. As we wrap up our journey to rebuild self-esteem, remember that this is a continuous process. 
Be patient and compassionate with yourself. You are capable of profound transformation and growth. A quote by Godiva Princewell states, One of the greatest accomplishments you can ever make is finding you and striving against all odds to become your discovered self. Interestingly, achieving this becomes very easy when you find God. Thank you for joining us today. If you need professional support, remember at GCH we provide such support at discounted price. You can book an appointment with us via our website, link in the description section below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, your self-esteem matters, and you have the power to nurture and rebuild it. Feel free to share your questions, thoughts, or experience in the comment section below. Check it out these videos displayed on your screen and we will see you there. Do take care.